what is up, Sexy Beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and today I'm showing you guys the 3179 JGB215, or the Shrink Ray, or the Baby Maker, whatever you wish to call it, in Black Ops 3 on round 50. So let's go ahead and get this shit started. So I will be making a comparison video about this one and the original one from Black Ops 1. There are some minor differences that I want to show you guys, but the main difference I actually want to talk about in this video is when you actually shrink down the baby zombies. So these guns will both be able to do relatively the same thing, but in Black Ops 1, when you actually shrink the zombies down and became baby zombies, and you tried to run through them, you could run through them with ease. They really wouldn't slow you down or stop you. You could easily be able to get through like an entire train of 24 baby zombies. Now in Black Ops 3, that's not exactly the case. When you actually use the weapon and shrink down the zombies to baby zombies, and you try to run through them, they're going to be able to slow you down and stop you constantly, and it gets really, really annoying. That was like the first thing I actually noticed about this Wonder Weapon when I actually used it in Black Ops 3 Shangri-La, was that if you try to run through a horde of zombies, well, baby zombies, they're going to be able to slow you down, and it can kind of get a little dangerous sometimes, so you always find yourself using a different weapon to actually finish them all off. So the strategies for high rounds in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3 are relatively the same, there's just one little difference. So really the basic strategy is you want to keep the door from spawn over in this area closed and you want to run the exact same strategy that I'm running. You're basically just going to do a loop and get all the zombies right behind you and once you do that, you use the shrink ray to shrink them all down. But in Black Ops 1, you could easily run through the entire horde or you could use Mustang and Sally or the ray gun because you have PhD flopper and it didn't really matter. But in Black Ops 3, it's a little bit different. Once you get that entire horde behind you, you use the shrink ray, you run through, I would say, about half the zombies, and then you finish the rest off with the ray gun, just because those zombies are actually able to slow you down. So it's a lot easier to actually finish them off with a ray gun than to try to run through them all. So that's like the main difference I actually saw from the Black Ops 1 to the Black Ops 3 version, was what exactly happens when you shrink those zombies down to baby zombies. But when it comes to what the shrink ray can do overall, it's going to be the exact same as the Black Ops 1 version. It's always going to shrink down the zombies, and you can always insta-kill them. So that has been the 3179 JGB215 on round 50. I'm very curious to know which one do you guys prefer, the old Black Ops 1 version or the newer Black Ops 3 version? Let me know in the comments, and if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Peace!